today we're going to go down to Trey Sauer's Oyster Farm in uh, Tank Tank. I have the chefs here from the Boathouse Restaurant and Casa del Barco. And we're going to go harvest and look at some great oysters. We have Buyer Ride. Jeff over here is going to drive us down. And what could be more appropriate, we're going with a grease burning vehicle. So, um, kitchen grease. So, we're going to take off now and uh, we have a great day for the trip. See you at the farm. stuff that was coming out they that I was talking about they were too more tongue and doing dredges and stuff like that. It's real hard to get a consistent oyster because it's how, whatever you happen to catch. And so the cold oysters, it's hard to get anything consistent. Nobody wants to spend the time to go through it. And so this way you can get a real consistent oyster. So we spent the morning with Trey and he showed us how to shuck oysters. He showed us how to lift them up with his uh, handy dandy camouflage <laughs> wench. And uh, now we're headed back and uh, he's going to show us how to dock the boat and maybe we'll see something else in between. But uh, we've had a great morning here with Trey and uh, everybody enjoyed some great oysters. distributor. When we looked at the tag, it was three or four days before they came to us. Tell us about how, how long does the oyster out of the water before it comes to us now? Uh, on average, the oyster that I deliver has only been out of the water for about five to six hours. Did you say hours or days? Hours. Trey, thanks so much for showing us your oyster farm today and explaining to us why buying local is so important. Again, our oysters are four or five hours old as opposed to buying from some of those big distributors where they're four and five days old by the time we get them. Thanks again, we'll see you back at the boathouse for some great oysters. Good to meet you. Thank you.